we are headed to Beatrice. This is a different one today, but I feel like it's important. It's a very important topic, especially for women. I am going to the hospital. I am going to get a mammogram today. I've been putting it off because of the coronavirus. Right now, Nebraska is not in the surrounding states that are getting all this resurgence. And I'm hoping that we won't. They're going to be checking our temperatures and all that. So, but the thing about it is it's important to have a mammogram. I did have breast cancer once before, and it was so small that the only way it was caught was on a mammogram. And I've been free of, of cancer for several years, beyond the five, and, but that does not mean it can't happen again. I mean, you're never guaranteed not to get cancer again. I really would like to encourage all women. Men can get breast cancer too, but generally, I don't think, I don't know, but I don't think they have to go through mammograms because they don't really have a lot of breasts, so generally it's palpable, which I, I do check myself. That's important too but I wouldn't have been able to find the one that they did on the last time. They were very surprised it was even cancerous. So this is gonna be, like I said, a different kind of video today. I didn't get one up for Monday because I suffered such a sinus headache Sunday and I don't know what causes them, my sister gets them, it's an allergy thing or whatever, but it's one of those things where you can hardly even stand to have the lights on. So, so I've been, it has been a long time since I've been out of the house. It's been a long time since I've been 70 degrees in the mornings. It's been like 80s and 90s and humid in the early mornings and all through the night. So I haven't really been out for quite some time so this is a that part's a treat the mammogram is not a treat it is effective it's not comfortable we'll put it that way you twist and and everything gets squeezed so we are taking my wheelchair today because well it's kind of in the it's a bit of a distance in the hospital. I've walked it before, but with having to do what I do today, it is a little strenuous on the body when you're in my, you know, my condition. So we are going to take the wheelchair along. And we take mine. The hospital has them, but we take mine because everything you can do to, to keep yourself from getting this stuff, the better off you are. <laughs> You've seen where they're having to clean down all these seats when they do have public things and stuff. And you just hope that happens with wheelchairs, but it's just, you never know. I, you, I'm sure they try to catch everything, but sometimes maybe people get there faster than it gets taken care of, so I don't know. Personally, I just don't know. So we're just not taking chances. We take my wheelchair. But I am on the on the positive side, and there is one. It is so nice to be out and about and see the corn is growing, and it's it's just really beautiful to be out and see across the plains again see all the trees that dot it and the fields that just kind of grow 
really well. Wow, there's some bail, big old round bales of hay. This is the life, guys. <laughs> Out here, this is the life. So I'll talk to you later when it's all over and done. I know there. this is not the, the breast cancer month, but for me it is because this is when I'm getting my mammogram. So, well, that is done and over with for next year. <laughs> and I'm glad. Of course, I wore my mask the whole time, used hand sanitizer. For what? They didn't have anybody taking um, temperature out front for some reason. But if this stuff starts showing a lot more cases, at least in our area, then they better start taking, <laughs> doing that stuff again. Because there have been more cases in Omaha, there have been more cases in Lincoln. I know they're testing more people, so that's probably part of the positives, but the fact of it is, if they're testing it and it's there, then that puts the rest of us in danger, so I'm going to still play it safe. <laughs> I'm still going to play it safe. I miss my kids. I miss being together with them. And my grandkids and hopefully I mean a lot of times we just it's one-on-one -on -one visits but generally we have a big, a big Christmas gathering and then a big summer gathering and of course it's too hot right now anyway <laughs> but pro hopefully by September so I think that's when we usually do it so hopefully by September this will have cleared up enough to where we can get the family together. Because some of them are in Kansas and that's kind of a red state right now according to on this coronavirus. Oops, stop light. <laughs> so anyway, this is probably going to be my thing for today. I'm going home. I am taking a Tylenol and I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> so, be good, be careful, and watch out for cars starting out from stoplights. <laughs> Gives you a little jerk. No, I'm kidding. But, yeah, stay safe, stay cool if you can. And remember, smile and wave. Somebody needs to have their day better. And I I feel better when I smile and wave too. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.